Excuse me, guys. I'm trying to find someone who can match my swag. Hello, everyone. If you've ever breathed air, please leave a like on this video. I'm going to keep saying it. It's going to get funny one day. I promise. I promise. So, surprisingly enough, this is actually an idea I've had for a while now. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Probably isn't. But yeah, in the, I think the video is called Are You Okay? I had an outfit very similar to this. I had the hat accessory, which is called just Soft Hat. Fantastic name, I know. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can't change the colour of that. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to make an outfit based around it. So for my, I guess like the remainder of my outfit, it's just the student blazer, which I believe it's 18,000 per piece. I mean, let's be fair, when you're halfway through the game, like story mode, there's a very good chance that you're never, ever, ever going to need, you know, worry about Zenny ever again. Let's be fair, I've got like 33 million or billion, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this guy is running Dragon Fist, and I forget what his other ultimate is, I don't know, but there I get baited. Well, not even baited, I just mess up and don't vanish or anything when he goes for the stamina break. And here he goes for Dragon Fist, and I get fisted. Wonderful. Now, I believe my stamina recovered just before it actually hit me, so maybe I could have vanished out of it, but then again... At least as a version 1.0701. Hopefully this will get fixed in DLC 5 or beyond or before, I don't know. But again, as a version 1.0701, if you get hit with a Dragon Fist and you vanish out of it, there's like a 50-50 chance that you'll actually, you know, be moved. You'll still use stamina, but it's not really in the ball, it's just glitched. I don't know. So here I go for potential unleashed. That sounds weird, why did I say it like that? I go for potential unleashed and I go for break cannon. And with break cannon, oh yeah, go for the extremely disrespectful headshot evasive I should mention this as well this move is just based around like head attacks oh, I shouldn't have said that that what was that <laughs> so I'm recording this video in the evening on the 28th of October 2017 so it's basically just for that it's Halloween season I don't know well I just listened to it back you can hear it but it sounds a bit lame to be honest but there's fireworks going off that was extremely loud and also, as of me recording this, it is now the one year anniversary of when Xenoverse 2 was released in Europe. I believe this video is going to be released sometime early November, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, this moveset is basically just head attacks, Kappa Ross, okay? Uh, but yeah, with Break Cannon, like I was going to say before, I rudely cut myself off in the end of the previous fight. It's, well, the damage scales depending on how much key you have when you're using. You need 3 bars minimum to actually activate it. But let's say, for example, you've got like 10 bars of key, like I'm sure there's a build that can have that. It's going to do more damage, and I'm not sure if it lasts longer, or if it just does more damage in a shorter amount of time, I'm not entirely sure. But just keep in mind that if you use Bright Cannon, it will deplete all of your key. I'm just wondering, what would happen if you use a Super Soul that doesn't deplete your key? For example, isn't the... this is Super Vegeta Super Soul, like doesn't have to do that? Oh, I think the Fuse Amasu one as well, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. So this guy, I mean, as of right now, it's looking pretty even, both in terms of, well, as of right this second, both in terms of health, key, and stamina. Like, it's actually, I'd say it's it's exactly the same. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, but I do get the perfect block, so I do have more stamina than he just now. And now break his guard, got off the break cannon. But speaking the thing is, with this fight, I just couldn't connect with it, that makes sense. Like, I know, like, I don't care this makes it sound cocky, but for this specific fight, I knew I was better than this guy. I mean, he's, like, he went for his advice, but there's no point. Then he goes for Divine Rapification. Oh, he stepped out in front of it. I still get caught by like, the last bit, but it's not really a big deal. But yeah, for some reason, I just couldn't get into, like, I guess, like, the groove of things in that fight. Oh, well, what are you going to do? So you're going to the third fight for this video. This guy now picks Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Now, he's level 84. I'm level 99. These are rap battles with limitations turned off, so Super Souls and levels do take effect. I go for a Troll Spin there. He hits me with a few basic key blasts. Yeah, very nice perfect block up there and goes for the throw. Now, when he got me in the throw, he sent me flying down to the building, as you guys saw. But the building was just completely fine. It didn't break or anything. So, oh. Super Saiyan Blue is weak and stone and concrete. You be the judge. Okay, so he goes for a stand record attempt there. And much like in the previous fight, I just couldn't connect in this fight. I mean, I will say this. This was the first fight I had while recording it. Oh, sorry, while recording this video, rather. But I didn't think it would be good to show as the first fight. I thought, you know, it would be like a middle fight-ish, I don't know. I mean, he's gone for his advice, like, what, once already, I think, in a situation where he didn't need to. And I believe he's going to go for it again, like, soon, without, like, he just doesn't need to go for it. I just don't know why he goes for it, you know. 
I mean, yes, I've used my value sip in situations where I have. I, oh, you're right there. They could just, like, vanish or something. Or actually, could it? Yeah, it could have. Um, like, yes, I've used, like, hyper movement in situations where I probably shouldn't have, but that's mostly been, like, a mistake or something like that. I mean, granted, that could have been a mistake, but I believe you'll go for it again in this fight at least once more, I want to say. So that's, like, what? Altogether, like, nine, or, you know, or if it's, like, um,. Four times he does it, that's even nine or twelve bars of stamina wasted. Here I go for Break Cannon. Now that destroys the building, so Break Cannon stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. You be the judge. Okay. Um, so yeah, there, when I went for the heavy smash, I believe I fully charged it up, and I was thinking, oh, right there, very, very beautiful back here on his end, I will say that. But here he goes for Savage Strike. No, he doesn't. That's Spirit Stab. But here he goes for Spirit Stab, and I believe in a moment he actually will go for Savage Strike. Yeah, right there. That pink. Hot pink car just gets completely destroyed. He goes under for Savage Strike there, the warp version, and again he goes for his damn evasive. Now, granted, he could just be, you know, kind of showing up at this point or just taunting me or something like that because he just defeat me there, but that was like what? I mean, I counted four evasives where he didn't need to use them. There may have been more, I can't remember. But that's like what? 12 bars of stamina completely wasted. Oh well, going to the next fight for this video. But it's funny how I mentioned that I just couldn't really connect or get into the groove of things in the previous two fights because, well, at least in my opinion, in this fight, I'm simply on fire. Yes, guys, I know, that's absolutely hilarious. Can we get one like on the video for comedy, guys? Thanks. Um, what, the, what? I don't know. But yeah, he does go for maximum charge at the very beginning, and yeah, I wouldn't personally do that, at least not on a stage that, when, you know, you start off quite close to each other, but the thing is, he didn't do anything about it while I was, you know, rushing him, like, before I even hit him. Like, he didn't even try and stop the animation, so, of course, I got the power block off. Got for potential unleash there, after got for the swing kick, into break cannon. Damn, that, that's cool. I mean, well, I say it's cool. He just looked very nice at that work, in my opinion. So, he does go for Super Saiyan 3 there. I believe, previously, he was in either Super Saiyan 1 or 2. And, of course, now he's going to kind of spam Warp, Big Bang, Kamehameha. I'm kind of just messing around at this point, I really am. He goes for a throw there, I don't know why. He goes for it again there, I do know why. Because we're right by each other, he goes for another one here. I'm trying to go for the back hit because in, I think like in two videos so far, I've gone for a fully charged back hit when my opponent goes for a big bang, come at my heart, and because they have so little health when I go for it, that's enough to, you know, defeat them. It's very satisfying. Either right strike or right strike, whatever it's called here. Uh, into Rebellion Spear, he goes for um, Vanishing Card there. I did try and defeat him with my evasive, it didn't work, but I do go for it here. I believe he went to go for Dragon Fist, I'm not entirely sure, but because, well, if you watch Dragon Fist, that of course doesn't give you super armor, so that was enough to defeat that guy. I mean, I say that he was, well, he kind of spams Big Bang coming hard, he didn't really, let's be fair. This guy, Super Vanishing Ball, back in Xenoverse 1, lads, and Emperor's Death Beam. Why did I say Emperor's Death Beam like that? I don't know. Okay, so it's level 80, um... Yeah, I mean, again, like, I just thought, it just felt like I really could connect now. I don't know why, uh, but it may have been because the first three fights I recorded the day before, and I'm recording these fights the day after, I don't know. But yeah, uh, so, <laughs> okay, I'll say that. I get completely wrecked with a light standard break there. I could have easily vanished. I, well, I say easily. Could have been that easy because I didn't do it, did I? I got for charge there, and I just have no idea how to connect with charge or how to use it. It's like... It's one of gold tins attacks, I believe. Why it's got a golden aura, I don't know. But do break his guard there, and I immediately went for headshot my evasive to try and see who would like actually connect. Didn't work, so his guard's about to be recharged now. I think I got for no I don't. I thought I would have gone for the unrelenting barrage, but of course I don't. So his guard's been recharged now, but immediately goes for an ultimate. If it was Empress Death Beam, maybe would have done something, but the fact he went for Super Vanishing Ball, I don't know why. And there I believe well, I think his Super Soul, I'm not entirely sure, so if you guys want to go back and check. But I believe his Super Soul is the final form freezer Super Soul, I think it is. That, yeah, that's the one, I think. And if you don't know what that does, just before you're about to get KO'd, it will leave you with 0.1% of your total health for about 5 to 8 seconds, I want to say. It's definitely at least 5 seconds, I think, I don't know. But basically, it kicked in there, but it's well, I still did damage on him, so I don't know what happened. Like, he just completely bypassed the Super Soul. So I don't know if Unrelenting Barrage is glitched, or guys, or if it's just my Alpha Pearl Fedora. It could just be that, guys. It could just be that. Okay, so I go into this fight. Talking of glitches, well, I say glitches, it's pretty much just lag. Let's be fair, lads. Um, yeah, it's just a bit laggy. He goes for a few Flash Fist Crushes there. I still can't say that. Like, it, like that attack is just so awkward to pronounce. Flash 
fist crush, at least for me, I don't know. But it's more so just a bit laggy and it kind of benefits and gives both of us a bit of a disadvantage as well, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, here I go for Pendra Unleashed. And I don't know if that's sending him into the wall there, I'm not entirely sure, but um, yeah. It does kind of feel like he is reliant on the Flash Fist Crush. I mean, in this fight, I don't really blame him because, I mean, if he's just, you know, using them, I mean, right there, I didn't even see him activated, but if he's just going for them because it's laggy, then it's like, okay, fair enough. Um, or is it the Flash Skill? I keep getting mixed up with those two attacks. You know, you guys know what they are. No, it is the um, Flash Skill, isn't it? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the Time Skip Flash Skill. Great. But yeah, my point is, is that it did kind of feel like he was very reliant on that attack, but I mean, like I already mentioned, if it's because he was laggy, then fair enough, I will tip my fedora in respect and, you know, give you a benefit of the doubt. I mean, it's not gonna... Oh yeah, right there! And I think I'll go for it again in a second. I try and go for Rebellion Spear, but it cuts off immediately. What the hell happened there? I'll go for it for like a third time. <laughs> what? I don't know, but there he goes for a sudden storm while I was like right next to him. He goes for another one here. That's like what, four bars of key that he's just used then. Instant transmission into the rugby tackle, also known as the Rebellion Spear. He goes for his evasive. Why? Why? Yes, it's a funny evasive. It's fun, satisfying to use. But he needs all the stamina he can get at this point. Like those three bars of stamina just completely wasted. And now I do go for the rebellion spear, and that, my friends, will be game. Or as I used to say, that's enough to put him away. So guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it, and guys, I will see you next time.